Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India this lecture with a thought process from uh, Sir Cyril Norman Hinsel Wood, who says that nobody I suppose could devote many years to the study of chemical kinetics without being deeply conscious of the fascination of time and change. This is something that goes outside science into poetry. But science, the subject to the rigid necessity of always seeking closer approximation to the truth, itself contains many poetical elements. So, basically, he is talking about it is an approximation, what you are doing, and chemical kinetics, and it is approximate to the truth, it is not the truth. Okay. So, anyway, we are discussing basically about chemical kinetics. And in the last lecture, I initiated discussion on collision theory. The collision will be taking place between molecules and even atoms and radicals, right? Because these are all moving in a random motion, right? And even if there is a collision between molecule and a another molecule or a radical then need not to go to the chemical reaction, is not it? Will it go to chemical reactions? Not always. Not always. So, I will just take one example just to say that why it is not so. Let us say that this is the reaction CH4 is reacting with OH going to CH3 plus water, right. If I take the structure C here, let us say H, H here, right, I will take, let us say it is reacting with like OH, because this methane molecule is colliding with OH, right. OH, I can have a like this, let us say OH is moving towards that, right. Now, will it be any, if it is, this is the OH. OH and of course, this is your CH4. Now, with this H, this is going and colliding, right. If it is colliding, is it leading to the formation of CH3 and water? Certainly, no. This is basically no reaction, right. Because each H are similar in nature, you know, naturally it will be not doing that. But however, if I take the same example and if it is H O the molecule and it is colliding with here, then it will lead to the reaction, right, yes or no. So, this is taken care by what you call a orientation, right or you can say geometrically, because how it is move getting into. And that is a similar thing, we meet several people, but we may not have a good bond, right. Okay. That depends on the compatibility is important in our relationship. So, that is taken care by a steric factor, what we had discussed in the last lecture. And even if it is oriented properly, and it is colliding, right. Of course, the reaction may take place, but we need to look at that it should have a enough energy to break a bond and form a new bond. And that energy we call it as a activation energy, okay. And um, uh, we have talked about activated complex leading to that, I will be discussing little later on. And um, if you look at and what is the probability of that, that probability of having certain activation energy, right, leading to a collision, what we have looked at is basically 
probability of you know reaction you can say is what e power to the t by r u t this is one factor and the, if you compare to your maxwell function this is similar terms are there and into steric factor and this is your steric factor but why we are talking about it why you are talking about it because our interest to find out a relationship for the specific reaction rate for example if i take the a molecule is reacting with b going to the product c and d i want to uh, find out the change of concentration of a with respect to time and keep in mind this is getting consumed therefore it will be negative is equal to k if i say this is you know forward reaction rate k then c a and c b now our objective is to find out the k is the specific reaction rate and sometime reaction rate coefficient we call right that is the main objective and if i know this then only i can find out how much concentration of a is changing with respect to time now this will be invoking basically collision theory and then find it out let us what is that if i look at from the collision theory of point of view like dca by dt is nothing but what you call number of collision between molecules a and b right per unit volume and per unit time and then what is the because not that all collision will be leading to the reaction there is a probability 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 of successful collision leading to reaction successful means that but i am just writing for the clarity successful collision means for this case it is only two reaction right otherwise it is not successful then kilo mole of molecule a per number of molecules a molecules i can say a molecules right now if i can say this is basically if you look at number of collisions per unit time means what collision frequency right that i can write down dca by dt is equal to zab by volume and zab is basically collision frequency right into what is that probability we know that is e by r u t into steric factor into this is kilo moles of a per number of uh, molecules a molecules right what is that that is nothing but your avogadro's number yes or no kilo moles like per uh, the number of molecules that is nothing but avogadro's number so if you look at now we will have to find out basically collision frequency for that we will have to go to uh, what you call our uh, molecular theory of gases and find out the what we did earlier right similar way right let us now evaluate collision frequency so let us uh, take a simple molecule 
collision right let us consider a simple collision in which uh, molecule a is reacting with another molecule right with the same diameter right uh, let us consider simple molecules right and um, let us take let us consider simple collision event in this event what is happening the molecule a let us say the molecule a which is moving at a velocity v right average velocity and it is colliding with another molecules of same diameter keep in mind this is d sigma and this is also sigma sigma is the diameter of the molecule right sigma is the diameter of molecule a right now when they are collision collision will occur only when if you look at when it can happen the collision provided they are of course touching each other and this diameter will be basically sigma the center to center distance between two molecules when they are in touch with each other like they are touching it, uh, each other will be sigma then only if it is more collision won't occur right now we will consider let us say a case let us say there is a molecule here and it is moving right this way right and there is a some other molecule which is similar diameter but this is fixed fixed means is not moving right let us say there is a molecule here which is fixed and this molecule has reached here and it has gone with a velocity v average and this is collision occurring here so this diameter if you look at this diameter is what this is 2 sigma this is moving and this is a fixed molecule we are imagining this not that way we will go slowly and, sim and just to simplify i am talking about it now i want to find out collision frequency right collision frequency i can say z a a is equal to what will be number of number density right we know this is number density what is that number of molecules a divided by unit volume right that is n into if you look at what is this this is basically i can say all right i can write down a divided by volume right into because i want to find out frequency so what what i'll do there will be collisions right that will be basically the swept volume with which you know the molecules are moving and colliding let's say this is between the two mean uh, uh, what you call between two collisions and that distance we call it as a mean free path that is average distance and the swept volume between two collisions right or the this thing will be what will be pi by 4 2 sigma square right into average velocity yes or no so that happens to be if i look at this z a a will be n naught a by v v is the volume okay keep in mind this is volume okay and this is average velocity right and this is of course number of molecules a right this is number of a molecules anything i am missing sigma is the diameter of the molecule right into pi sigma square v dash now keep in mind that 
this uh, in actual case all molecules will be moving it is not that fixed it will be moving that molecule this one and this one will be moving right then what will be the average velocity then if it happens to be the same average velocity then it will be root 2 yes or no yes or no average velocity will be root 2 v dash so uh, for actual right gas in which the molecule moving assuming of course the maxwell relationship velocity distribution z a a will be n not a by v pi sigma square root over v dash right but keep in mind that here what we have assumed the all molecules are having same diameter but actually it is not let's say that there is a molecule a in this example there is a molecule b in this example okay because i am saying that uh, a is reacting with b so therefore the a molecules and b molecules are colliding right and when this collision will take place only when the sigma a plus sigma b divided by 2 will be the the diameter right then only for example if i say this is a right this is b and then sigma ab this will be sigma ab will be sigma a plus sigma b divided by 2 then only collision will occur otherwise no because if it is far away it won't occur right uh, sum of uh, the diameter of a and b divided by 2 that is the average diameter right that distance should be maintained now if you look at then collision of a molecule with all b molecules right that will be i can say z a b will be equal to what root 2 into n b and this n b is what n not b divided by volume okay n b is nothing but n not b divided by volume yes or no this is number density of of the molecule b into pi sigma a b square into v a right right but what we want is basically basically the collisions of molecule of all a molecules with all b molecules not a molecule a only like not a single molecule of a okay and uh, what will be that that will be basically total collision for unit volume right that is total collision per unit volume right per unit time per unit time that means during which all a molecules is reacting with b molecules right not that only a molecule is reacting with all b molecules that will be z a b by volume will be equal to what you call like uh, with with equal to what is that this is collision frequency of a with b with all b into number of molecules for this divided by v right that means this is basically n not b by v pi sigma a b square into v a b average into n not a by v so what is sigma a b 
where sigma a b what will be sigma a b that we have already seen that is sigma a plus sigma b divided by 2. What is V a b from the kinetic theory of gases right we know that will be 8 k b t divided by relative mass of uh, what is relative mass is nothing but mass of a mass of b divided by mass a plus mass b right. So, I can write down here right is equal to z a b y v is nothing but n o a by v into n o b by v into pi sigma a b square right into v a b will be what 8 k b t by m r right ok and keep in mind that this v average a b will be nothing but root over v a square average plus v b square average like that is the meaning of that right and this this we are getting basically from the molecular theory of gases keep in mind that what is this n o a n o a will be what can i say this is nothing but your v is equal to what is n o a n o a is nothing but n a into a n divided by v yes or no because number of molecules is equal to we know as n a is equal to n o a divided by a n a n is your Avogadro's number this is Avogadro number yes or no number of molecules divided by number of molecules per unit this thing mole right. So, that means this number of molecule cancel out nothing but mole yes or no. So, now what is this one what is this one concentration right that is nothing but C A A N similarly N O B by B will be C B A N. So, I can write down right Z A B is equal to C A A N and C B A N pi sigma A B square 8 k b by t m r this is relative not I think uh, ok relative mass half. So, keep in mind that this is the collision uh, frequency for unit volume ok there will be unit volume and this is basically uh, provides reasonable good values for a bimolecular reaction. But however, if you look at like trimolecular reactions which is likely to occur the error will be very much it will be order of something 10 power to 6 right. Therefore, that is a limitation of this kind of things therefore, one has to look at it right and we will have to rely on the experimental values I will be coming to that little later on. Now, what we will do now we will use that thing and then find out a relation for reaction rate right. Let us say this is equation 2 I think uh, I had not told let me get into here this is equation 1 right. This is equation 1 I am saying I will be using this equation now right. So, by clubbing equation 1 with equation 2 or I could have we can have 
So, what I will get d c a by d t is nothing but c a a n c b a n pi sigma a b whole square 8 k b t by m r into e power to the r u t into s into 1 by a n. This a n a n will cancel it out. So, what you will get? You will get d c a by d t is equal to c a c b a n pi sigma a b square 8 k b t by m r e by r u t into s, I am putting s here, okay. this is your steric factor. And keep in mind that e by r u t is a non dimensional parameter, so also the steric factor, that means steric factor is also a non dimensional parameter. And if I consider you know uh, this portion, right? These are basically you can say it as a what you call constant, right. Now, if I will write down this is your let us say equation 3 and then I will write down the uh, what we had done like from the uh, simple the in terms of uh, in terms of the specific reaction constant that is d c a by d t is equal to k. C A and C B, right. Let us say this I, I am saying right now 4. Now, if I compare this 3 and 4, what I am getting? I can write down this as a A, right. A is the pre exponential CL factor, I am saying. That means, K, if you look at, I can write down what is K then? A R U T. That means we got a relationship, and this is your exponential factor. This portion e power to the is exponential fraction. Okay, I can say this is exponential factor, and keep in mind that this is depend on the temperature and E is the activation energy and A is your pre exponential factor. So, with this we will stop over here and we will be discussing more about this specific reaction rate which we have derived from the molecular theory or the considering the collision theory. Right. So, thank you very much.